You know, raising children can be expensive. So today we've got some money saving tips for parents. We're going to show you the tax deductions that you need to look into and take advantage of to save some money. With us today is New Orleans certified public accountant, Kimberly Washington, to break it all down for us. Thank you as usual. Thank Welcome. you for having me. Thank you. Okay, so first up, let's talk about that child tax credit. Right. How much is it and who's eligible for this? So the child tax credit is up to $2,000. Previously, it was $1,000. But the great thing about this credit is for individuals who are under the age of 17 years old and for those dependents who lived in your home at least for six months. So this is a great tool or deduction that many of the parents could utilize as it relates to their tax returns. Okay, and this is something you should ask your accountant about or yes. if you don't have one then what? Definitely in TurboTax or whatever if you're doing it by yourself you want to just make certain that you're taking advantage of it. Okay there's something called the new credit for right. other dependents. Is this something new and how does this work? This is something new and this is something that people should pay attention to. So if you have a child that may not qualify for the child tax credit you may be able to get a credit of $500 for other dependents that do not qualify. So for instance if this is an individual who live in your home who's over the age of 17 years old and if they meet certain qualifications you may be able to get this additional qualification of credit of $500. Okay, and, and tell us some more about the deductions for child and dependent care expenses because right. that can add up. That can add up. So if you're paying expenses for babysitting, also summer camp too as well. Many people don't realize that. But if you have children or dependents under the age of 13 years of age, you may be able to take advantage of this. So save your receipts and make certain that you're reporting this amount on your tax return. If you live in Louisiana, yes. what should people know about these tax deductions? A lot of people don't realize if you live in the state of Louisiana, you're also able to take other deductions. One in particular is called a school expense deduction and so this would be a case if you have a younger child and you're paying tuition even at a private school textbooks fees materials all of these different costs you can take advantage of that on your state tax re on your state tax return so kind of keep that in mind and keep your receipts and do not let that credit or deduction rather go away yeah this is some really interesting stuff and what's a 529 contribution right so you may be saving some money for your children right now keep in mind you can also get a state tax deduction for that here in the state of Louisiana we have a program and it's called the start saving program and this is money you can put aside for K through 12 and also higher education too as well so keep that in mind because you can get a deduction up to $2,400 per child. Okay, and when should people start working on these things? I would say at least as it relates to saving the money for children as soon as possible. As far as getting items together as it relates to taxes, you want to start gathering your information right now too as well. Just kind of get all the different things that you have so that you can make certain that you're getting the lowest um, tax liability mm -hmm. or the best tax refund at tax time. And I know you're really good at organizing. You're saying yes. like, what are the receipts and how should you be filing and keeping these things? I have a great tool on my website and it's a tax organizer. So it's like a checklist so you can know, okay, what should I have for my income, for my deductions, and it's at washcpallc.com, but that's a great tool that you can utilize rather so that you can get all of your information together. And the, and the things that you've got to remember, like, you know, you run out, you yes. pick up a, a backpack, you pick up some pencils, yes. what are things that you should be keeping when you're purchasing them, especially for your kids? Save your receipt and start thinking about, okay, what did I spend my money on, especially if you're paying tuition. Get a receipt or a bill from your school and start looking at the itemized deductions and see whether or not you can take those as deductions on your your tax return. Some really good stuff. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes, thank thanks you so a lot. Much. Parents thank will love you. you for sharing this. Okay, <laughs> yes, thanks. Thank you. Well, this carnival season, you're